Hello, Internet. Jesus loves you. My name's Cody, and this is the Christian News Show we do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm going to start bringing this up in every video, but if you want to help support the show, you can always share this video on any social network that you, uh, you have friends on. That would mean the world to me, but if you also want to help support me in other ways, you can do that in the description below, along with links to all of my other news stories. I hope that's not going to be like too annoying or obnoxious for you guys, but I realize that I don't really tell you guys how you can help me out much, except for like the very end of the video, which nobody watches, at least I don't, so I'd understand if you didn't. But that being said, we go to the first story of the day, and that has to be about Bill Nye versus Ken Ham debate that went on last night. Some of you may know that I used to be just very into the literal 6,000-year-old Earth version of Genesis. After the years, I can no longer say that, but I can say that I do think that Genesis still holds truth. When you look at Genesis with a critical eye, you will definitely notice poetry, especially in the first chapter. And that's definitely where I lean. I don't look at it as this literal historical truth, but if you were to ask any question about human nature, I would tell you you could find the answer in the first few chapters of Genesis. That being said, I keep an open mind, and I brought this up on Twitter. I said that Christians seek truth. Like, that is what we do. We seek truth truth, the way, the life. We seek Jesus, we believe that to be truth. That being said, if Christians seek truth, then a closed-minded Christian should be an oxymoron, and that is almost never the case. And so, like I said, I used to be really into the 6,000-year-old Earth. I tried doing a research paper on the flood in a historical standpoint, and uh, you find evidence right away that disproves that. So I know I've veered kind of off topic there, but I wanted to give you guys my point of view on Bill Nye the Science Guy versus Ken Ham the Creationist debate. So when watching the debate, what I saw, I saw Ken Ham just trying to justify his side of things. In fact, the only thing that he really tried disproving scientifically was the scientific method that we use to uh, see how old the Earth is. Bill Nye, on the other hand, kind of went the opposite way and didn't really try to justify his point of view much. And instead kind of gave a lot of logical points as to why Genesis couldn't have happened as a historical documentation. The big one for me that really kind of got my attention is we see stars that are billions of light years away. If we're seeing them from billions of light years away, then uh, God didn't create them 6,000 years ago. He created them billions of years ago, contrary to Genesis. So if you want to check out that whole debate, I know that for at least a few more days, it's going to be in the link in the description below. That link might not work pretty soon because I know that they're going to be selling these as DVDs and digital copies. And to clarify again, I do believe that Genesis is true. I don't believe it's literal truth. I believe that it has poetic truth. And I also believe that God created everything. I do believe in God. I just, I don't want you guys to get me wrong. I do believe in a literal God, and I do believe that that God created everything in the universe. I would love to get deeper into this conversation. I actually thought about having a separate video about this, but we're just, we'll move on. And then our next story is about a woman named Jamie. And she says when she was 12 years old, she was sexually abused by a teacher named Andrea Condosa. But when she got the courage to finally report it, she found out that she had reached the statute of limitations. And was pretty much told that there was just nothing that they could even do. And so she decided to make a YouTube video, which has now gone viral, of her calling the teacher at a different school where she is now assistant principal. And later that day, Condosa had decided to resign from her job altogether. And the reason that we're talking about this today is because because of that YouTube video that went viral, Andrea Condosa has now been charged with 16 counts of felony sexual child abuse. And really, it's just nice to know that justice will be served, and it's all because someone made a YouTube video and decided to just do something about it. I, I can't imagine the trauma that Jamie must have gone through in the first place, and then to go to authorities and find out that there was nothing they were going to do. You, just, you have to admire that when she was told she couldn't do anything and nothing could be done, she, uh, she didn't give up and she kept going. And it's great knowing that not only did she get to confront her teacher in the way that she did, which was great on its own, but that actually made a difference and she is now paying for what she's done. And then for our final story of the day, we talk about the Central African Republic. And to be more specific, the town of Bengi, where 75 people are dead because of a clash between Muslims and Christians. And according to reports, most of these deaths are of Christians. A Muslim militia attacked Christians, returned fire, and uh, you have 75 people dead in a small town. So I say that just to spread awareness, just prayers out to Central African Republic. Sadly, in this situation, there's not much more you can do than hope. That and just uh, learn from it. Remember that uh, you may be a Christian in a really safe country, but not everyone else gets to be as safe as we are. Just don't take that for granted. It's a lot easier to be a Christian in the United States than it is to be in a place where they're trying to kill you for it. And that brings us to the question of the day, and I was trying to think of a good question of the day, and I think I've got it. What is something that you are thankful for that you usually take granted of? I know I personally, I complain constantly how slow internet is for how much I pay for it, and that the government should just give us free internet everywhere. So that's something that I'm definitely thankful for, that I guess I take it granted a lot, but uh, if I didn't have it, I couldn't do this, so. 
As always, I wonder what you guys have to say, so please leave your comment in the comment section below with your answer. My name is Cody Arbor, bringing you Christian news in a not-so-boring kind of way. In closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray, and to everybody like subscribe, I'll see you later, and God bless. Biggest thing on my mind while I was making this video is how much hate am I going to get from both sides on uh, my opinions on the Ken Ham, Bill Nye debate thing. Yep. Anyways, bye.